Hey everyone, and welcome back to us trying to tame some husses. I've already got the tent out here, the bird skin deployable tent. Let's go have me deploy the tent relatively close to the husses, I think. Maybe, let's say, right over there. Fantastic. Another thing I wanted to do is uh, install this horseshoe pit. Not sure exactly where. We'll go throw that over there and then maybe have someone like Yotter. No, he won't do it. Maybe Cinnamon then. Fantastic. I want to try to grab uh, as many berries on this map as possible. Anything that I can eat. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. We grab all these things. We'll harvest them up. Grab these uh, trees. Harvest those guys. Here are some more trees. Oh, that's actually not grown. Ooh, look at this one though. Apple tree. Sure, we'll harvest that up. All right. That should be all the food that's on this map. And then hopefully we can get us some hus. But we'll see in just a minute here. Oh, hey, Yotter. It must be unfortunate for everyone to sit here outside in the rain. Ooh, what is this tree? I've never seen that one before. Cherry tree, really? Looks like literally cherries. <laughs> okay, that's totally different from this one over here, which is... Oh, that's a crabapple tree. Interesting. This one... Oh, I thought that was a cherry tree. Apparently not. In any event, we've got our random little tent put together here. And then, of course, I'm likely... If we're going to stay here for a single night, we are indeed going to have to drop all these beds and set them up. Now, that's two beds. In the last episode, it was telling us we only had three bed rolls. And I'm wondering where do they went. So, four. Rhino's got nothing. There we go. Zavoria's got one. Cinnamon. Yeah, so that's actually all of them. That's four. All right. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly why the... Oh, you know what? Maybe the game isn't counting these double sleeping bags for whatever reason. Let's put that out front and just set up a nice little camp here. The built roof area up over there. Hopefully that works. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to or not. We'll see. And we got ourselves a little uh, a little camping area. Not the worst. Look, Zavori is pretty happy about this, actually. We got about one day here by my accounts. Is this actually a bounded roof area? Yes, it does indeed work like that. Awesome. The tent is pretty cool, I have to say. I'm really hoping, though, I'm going to go take those berries and then go tame the husses as soon as I'm done building the roof. Meanwhile, back at the base over here, Mango just got patched up. It looks like he's going to go get some food. Yeah, he's actually he already got the food he was taking care of. Chaos is all fed up and he's t tended to, so there's no issues back at the base then. I don't have to worry about anybody dying or anything like that. And this isn't necessarily uh, inside, but at least it's covered, so there's that much for us. Now, I'm training eight, interestingly enough, and that's not something I want to be doing. Uh, I really need to get taming up to a four, so that I get over here and try to grab all these guys. Yotter six... What? Yotter? What? Yotter tamed a horse? Thank you, Yotter. Yes, we've got a horse, friends. I've always wanted horses ever since the Wild West campaign. I want to redo the Wild West campaign now. Well, that's one. Yotter, go for two. Let's see it, buddy. All the husses. I failed 64% chance to train eight in obedience. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to set up a little bit of a stockpile here. Thank you, Yotter. That's fantastic. Quite frankly, though, should you be the one doing this? Your animals is a 10. My animals is 13, so, I mean, I suppose you're not, like, the best bet for it, but you're not terrible either. Let's get a little stockpile there uh, with another roof area. I can't wait to get bigger tents. That's going to be super cool. Oh, there's some lightning. Come on, Yotter. Let's see it. Get that beautiful white mare. Or actually, white stallion, rather. Oh, 34% failed. Well, we'll still get a couple more attempts, at least. Rhino's running around picking stuff up for us, which is awesome. There we go. We got the roof in. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. I got a 13. Let's see what my chance is versus Yotter's 10. It's going to be very interesting to see. Oh, what? The heck, why did I stop? Was it I need more berries? Yeah, I needed more berries. The horse eats a lot of berries, apparently. Come on, Huss. Join the... Fr oh, Yotter failed the other one over there. 34. Hey, he hit one out of three. 
I will take it. I probably should. You know what I should do is have Yotter be the one here. Let's have him. Oh, I never set him up. That's why. I see. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, let's copy me and I'll paste over. Let's just set Yotter up right now. Let's get him on not taming and only training. Fantastic. And that'll suffice for now. We'll just drop all this smithing stuff completely off the list because he's not going to do any of that stuff. Awesome. Let's see. I had a 43. That's considerably higher, but I also failed. So we can try all this again in eight hours, and then we'll probably have to... Whoa! My lord, the lightning just hit eight. The poor guy. He's on fire. Come here, eight. I'll save you. Or I won't. Now that he's he's taken care of. <laughs> just a random striking of lightning. Okay. Well, now he's he might get an infection because burns, for whatever reason, love to get infected. So I'm gonna throw up a bunch of sleeping spots here. So hopefully eight goes into him, and then we tend to his burns, and then maybe he won't get infected. Whew. Okay. Well anyway, let's go take care of all these issues. Animal needs treatment. That's our capybara. It is mango is Oh, you can walk right over those fences. Chain link fence, huh? I was wondering why the guys could shoot over them. That's interesting. Steel. Let's allow that steel. Maybe maybe that's prevent maybe that's why we're walking in, because the fence didn't get built yet. That's entirely possible, actually. It looks like they broke the fence. I see. That's what I, that's a broken fence right there. That's what it is. I just didn't understand. So a little copybara over here, he's getting tended to. Hopefully, yeah, he's fully fed, or she's fully fed. Hopefully, we get more little copy bars, and then our efforts were not for a waste. Meanwhile, there just seems to be... You might need to actually fence off our grow zone over here, because it seems like random elephants and whatnot are eating quite a bit. Uh, do we have the resources to do that? Actually, no, unless we wanted to use uh, marble blocks, which we could do, but that's going to be a lot of marble blocking. I'm not sure what I would make it out of. Let's come back over here for a little bit. Basically, everyone's just hanging out. Uh, I don't see anything else here to harvest in terms of berries. There is a peach tree. We'll harvest that. Ooh! Hello? Gasosaurus. Well, aren't you a snazzy-looking guy? Revenge chance on tame fail. 80%. Hmm. Look at that cool-looking thing. Its DPS is only moderate. I'm not, like, really impressed by that. It can't eat live um, plants. Ergo, it cannot graze. Which means if we were to grab this, we'd have to feed it all the way back to our base. And we just... As much as I'd love to be able to maybe do that, there's... The only way we could do it is if we killed a bunch of animals. And there's nothing really on the map to kill. Uh, however, there is a boom rat. We could have Cinnamon go hunt it. Hunt the hare as well. And that's it. Look at this little camp. It's so cool. It's like a legitimate camp. I love it. Oh, is that a heel root? A wild heel root. Hey, we'll harvest that. Why not? Let's zoom out and see if there's more of those guys. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. We'll harvest them up. May as well. And then hopefully we'll get one more attempt tonight, and then maybe one more attempt tomorrow morning, if we're lucky, on those houses. Uh, and then that's it. Otherwise, we're looking good here. Let's see what Cinnamon needs. Oppressive, unsightly environment. Want to sleep with me? You know, we can actually fix that here by set owner Cinnamon, set owner me. Beautiful. Everyone else can just have whatever bed they want. What else does Cinnamon have to say? Soaking wet, grimy. Yes, that's one of the things. There's no such thing as a wash tub and there's no water here. So we could build a temporary well if we really wanted to. We'd have to chop up uh, some water. How does it work? You have no usable materials. All right, let's actually try to build a really quick well. This seems a little bit insane to me, but why not? Give it some chop wood commands around here. And once we get some of those trees, if anyone can work on that for us. Okay, let's throw in a primitive well. Put it right over there. And then we'll put like a little wash tub over here right next to it. Maybe we'll even put in a latrine. Not that we really want to go crazy with this stuff, but whatever. And then maybe we can even throw in some quick... 
stuff like that and like this and like that awesome this is kind of silly for only being here for one day but eh. maybe all right well there's our well oh apparently you can wash in the well hey that's not the worst thing in the world Got a bit of a wash tub there. I mean, it's not great by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also not terrible. Oh, you know what else we could do? Uh, we could throw in a bit of a beautiful lamp right inside there. And then also right outside here, too, because we have the extra wood. At least I think we'll have the wood. Look, the huss is coming over to eat up the grass. All right, uh, back at the base here. Kevin left us three beer. He was so happy with his stay. Boy, what a mess this place is. Major emergency on the capybara. They're, that's just because their blood loss is extreme, but we did take care of them, and they're fed, and they're conscious, so they're fine. Major break risk, that was on me. And then low food. That's because chaos is just yet to get to actually making anything. It could be because he's bed resting. Nope, his bed resting is actually pretty low. He must just be busy with other tasks. What does chaos have ahead of cooking on a five? Uh, according to this, basically nothing except for hauling corpses. Well, there actually was a lot of corpses to haul, and he, it looks like that's what he spent the entire day doing. There was a ton of corpses out there, and he hauled all of them down um, into the stockpile. So then tomorrow, we should be ready to go with making food. Now, let's keep an eye on this. Um, from where we are, from right here up to the base, we're looking at 0 0.86 days, so that did indeed go down. Since we got one hus, we've got 1.5 days. We're going to kind of have to leave in the morning, so we don't have too many chances here. Basically, once the horses wake up, I get 343% and then we're on the road. Oh, seven hours until leaving. Wow, yeah, we're barely going to be able to get that, actually. Hopefully those horses wake up early. Okay, the horse, we have three hours until we're leaving. This horse just woke up. I'm going to prioritize taming it first thing out of the gate here. Where did I just go and why? Washing my hands. Okay, am I still going to go tame the horse? Yeah, we only have three hours to get everything put together here and get on the road. We're going to build the bathroom just as we leave. But hey, you know, someone will come here and use this in the future and they'll be very happy for it. Come on, me. I want that white one so badly. What did we get? We got the mayor over there. This would be amazing if we get a white stallion. <gasps> the other one just woke up. The other two just woke up. We have two hours until we're leaving. This is rough. Let's get Yotter now on a tame on nine. We're not going to have a lot of time. We have to come up here and prioritizing taming that horse. Uh, then we're going to have to have someone come over here. Most likely Zavoria. Pack up the tent. Everything else we can bring with us. Ooh, the white stallion. Yes, friends! Beautiful stallion, beautiful! Alright, let's get me almost immediately. We can have horses! This is amazing. Usually you take horses on your trip, not the other way around. Let's make sure we get this uh, pin here uninstalled. As soon as Zavoria. Oh, God! The roof collapsed! Oh, right, the roof collapsed because I attached the roof to the tent. Okay, well, good thing it didn't kill anyone and it just damaged up our uh, sleeping bags and whatnot. Hopefully Zavoria can repair these things. Rhino, you want to go... S oh, actually, Rhino got hit there. Whoa, he almost... <laughs> Rhino almost died from being under the tent while Zavoria unpacked it. Whoopsie-daisy. Who's out of the best... Uh... Boy, that wouldn't be the 97th time I've done that. Rhino is the best doctor, actually. Rhino, you're going to have to... Uh tend to yourself put self tend on for him and then tend to yourself hopefully he'll just go grab that herbal med yes he did awesome we're gonna leave in two hours let's have Zavoria shift click repair that we did get all these things uninstalled which is fantastic I'm actually wondering we can't uninstall the lamps but 
Come on, me and Yotter. Come on, guys. More Husses. 43 on me, 34 on Yotter. Berries for days. Husses, follow us. Yotter's trying peaches. Team failed. 43 on me. Yotter, come on, buddy. It's all you. You can do it. We believe in you, Yotter. Come on. Come on, buddy. High five that. Oh, he failed too. Well, uh, we now have to leave essentially right now. We didn't quite get our little thingy done down here, but whatever. Now I realize you can throw up a very quick primitive well. Uh, everyone could take a bath in it, if nothing else. But let us reform the caravan. This time, we're going with two houses, which is fantastic. But you need obedience in order to be able to mount them, do you? All right, well, I think they'll still increase our speed. Let's bring the herbal meds, the tent, of course. Uh, the extra one berry. Order shoe. Oh, they have some dead corpses here we could bring along, I suppose. 140 kilograms. Boy, that's a lot of weight to waste. I should have cooked it up. I didn't think about it. Tons of wasted wood. Iron wood, interestingly enough. Make sure we bring all of our bedrolls. And I suppose if we wanted to, we could bring a wooden wash tub. Yes, we actually will. Off we go. And to here... Yep, we're already on our way there. Estimated time, 1.1 days. We have 1.2 days until the quest expires. Well, that's cutting it mighty close. Too bad. You know what actually is slowing us down is the fact that Rhino got hit in the head. And he's now probably a lot slower as a result of that. But he did patch himself up. His moving is 88%. Well, he's a little bit slower. Anyway, hopefully we get there in time. It's going to be super, super duper close. We could actually, thinking about it, it's going to take us one point, one day to get there, and it's seven now. We want to try to be getting in there at nighttime. Uh, so if you get really close to the tile before 2200, you'll just keep going and get there at night. That was one of the changes they made. Is there anything we can drop? No, we actually need all the bamboo. We, believe it or not, could, could drop our marine armor. That would speed us up significantly. The problem is, is that we'd be dropping our marine armor, so I'd rather keep that. What are we even getting here? Anti-grain warhead, right? Well, we'll just risk it and see what happens. See if chaos... Yep, he's over here cranking out the food now. We got low, but he's taking care of it. Mango harvesting for a thousand years, and we need to really worry about a fence. Chief angered! Uh-oh. Zero... Takakoma of the Confederacy of Funyuns never heard back of this delegation. What delegation? What's he talking about? Was someone on my map? Well, what even happened? Prisoners? Visitors? Oh! Oh! What the? What? Kevin? Alcohol addiction. What? An old man neuroscientist shows up in our colony who's addicted to alcohol with cataracts in both eyes, a frail torso, a bad spine, and a bad liver. He collapses because he's a crazy maniac with no alcohol. Oh, wait, didn't he give us his alcohol? Yeah, he did. He was like, wow, I love this place. Here, have my alcohol. But then he wanders six feet out and collapses because he's addicted to it and doesn't have any more. And now I get penalized for this. However, I mean, he's got a flak jacket, a smoke pot belt. Devil, Devil's Leaf? What is that? Is that like Devil's Strand? I have no idea. We could get up here and just very quickly be like, yoink, 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 yoink. Thanks, Kevin. We'll take that. Uh, we could also come save him. I'm actually wondering about removing his arm. Mango, could you come up here and rescue him? Anger's faction if we cover him. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just rescue him. We can also imprison him, interestingly enough. I wonder if we could just do a casual operation to remove that bionic arm. Just casually. That's all. Poor guy. Ooh, what the? 
Apparently, chaos is riding murder chicken around. Okay. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That fire that we had here before seems to have completely refilled itself in, which is nice to see. Oh my god. The elephants are literally eating us out of house and home. We're gonna have to put up a fence. Chain link fence is only makeable out of steel. High security fence is also made out of steel. Uh, which means we're gonna have to use... I suppose the Jurassic mod to make a concrete dinosaur fence out of marble. It's 10 marble for each block. We've got 380, so we can make a grand total of 10 of these. Which, I mean, no, sorry, 38 of these, which is not enough. That will not be sufficient for us in the slightest. I'm gonna have to cut the one, two, three, four, five, six just right there. Never mind the area down here or the area over there. There's nothing I can do about this except try to hunt them, but with four people, we can't hunt them. Uh, it's too dangerous. If they all go in revenge, we're dead. Look at this little bird thing over here with its floppy hands. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's amazing. Well, I hope you guys. Days of food 1.5, 0.9 days. Over here it says one days so the problem is is that this does not take into account the night time and this year we stop at night so we're not gonna get there i don't think maybe we're very quick but i'm not dropping my marine armor off let's go see what's up here with kevin so we're gonna feed kevin now before we do can we strip Kevin? Does he, I mean, it'd it, it be, you know, this is what happens when you, he's so mad at us. But here's the thing, right? When you bring someone in, yes, when you bring someone into your base, you know, they have to, into your medical ward, they have to wear a, the garment or whatever, the patient's garment, which means he can't wear that flak dress. So we'll, we'll just alleviate him of that. It'll be easier to keep him alive here. Now we can go feed him. Let's make sure this flak jacket's tootled very quickly. Also, that smoke pot belt. Move it out. Sad wanderer on Yotter. Oh, God. I hope that doesn't slow us down. I'm really wondering if they're going to get mad at us if we try to remove part right shoulder. Bionic arm. Boy. This will anger the Confederacy of Funyun. Do I care about the Confederacy of Funyun, though? Let's take a look at the, the factions. A bionic arm. Confederacy of Funyun. Plus 50. These guys like us. How much will it anger? I'm actually curious to find out. I kind of want to do it because I want that arm pretty badly. Poor Kevin doesn't seem like he's going to be long for this world anyway. It's the casual thievery is all. Okay, we're still 0.8 days over here, but there's no way we're getting there before nightfall. And we're going as fast as we possibly can. Anyone else goes on a mental break, and we might just slow down. Peace talks quest. Hmm, not interested. Come on, guys, get up there, please. Rhino, speed up. Oh, God, now Cinnamon's gone on a compulsive break. I don't think that's going to slow us down. No, 0.8 days. 0.9 days. We're going to be 0.1 days ahead. However, I hope it takes into account sleeping. I think it does. We're not going to make it tonight, I don't think. Happy Bar is no longer incapable of walking. Me, just the caravan basically is very unhappy. I can't stop the rest. We're on very close timetable here. 0. 0.8 days, 0. 0.7 days. Relation. Oh, look, we harvested the shoulder and we only lost 15 points. They still like us. Hell yes. Bionic arm, oh, friends. Sorry, Kevin. He's now naked and armless. But I mean, realistically, unless we administer alcohol to him. To get him back up and at him. Here, we'll save you. Then you can come off the map and give us a bonus. We can just be like, whoa, what happened to his arm? I don't know. He must have got ripped off by a dinosaur. Let's um, treat Pyrom... You can treat Pyromania? Hmm. Administer beer. Now, this says it's going to anger them, but it's the only thing that's going to make him get up and walk away. Although, we shouldn't actually do it until the anesthetic wears off. And let's tutor this on him to hide the evidence. Meanwhile, back over here, we're at 18. I think we can go to 2,200 hours until we have to 
Wait, so we got about six more hours. So we got actually four more hours. And it's going to be half a day till we get there. Pet lava rock meat. What? We had pet lava rock meat? Actually, we might be able to do this, friends. We got two more hours. I have named Alpaca 1 Gnome after being nuzzled. All right. 0.6 days, 0.5 days, with two more hours to go. I don't think we're... We have to be, like, here at 2200, and that does not seem likely to me. Wish we could just force march, but alas, 2100. We're going to be one tile short of getting there before 22. We're going to stop. We're going to camp in this one, I bet. Nope, we're out of that one. Let's see if we camp. Nope, we... There we go. Second 2200 hours hit, we stopped. It's going to take us 0.4 days. This is 0.5 days. So hopefully, hopefully that works out. In the meantime, though, oh, hey, Kevin. Please go back to your colony and tell them good things. We saved you from the evil... Dino the, technically speaking, the dinosaurs would have killed them and eaten them up proper. So, the fact that we charged him one arm... Oh, my God. What happened up here? Albertosaurus is dead. They got in a fight with the Cerotaurus, which is right here, which is also dead. They just killed each other. Heck, I'll take all that meat. 175 meat, and down here we're looking at another 149. Meanwhile, the manipulator is over here. Its legs are all bitten off. It only has 48 meat. It's not... Oh, look at the little capybara. He too got apparently attacked by something. By the manipulator. Wow. The giant insect killed the capybara. And then the insect died too. So there was just a lot of mutual death out here. It's crazy. And then meanwhile, there's literally a field of elephants sleeping in our zones. Just eating all of it, unfortunately. Okay, 0.4 a day is 0.3 days. I've never... This is actually going to work. It is, in fact, taking into account the sleeping. 0.4 days... 0.2 days, 0.3 days. Yep, we're going to walk in there with less than... Apaka self-tamed, really? Hell yes. We'll take that. Why not? Uh, more for the road, let's say. Let's get him into the dino area, I suppose. Alpacas, you mean he can either hang out in there or be a tasty snack for everybody. Either which way is fine by me. Otter's no longer wandering in sadness. I cannot believe we're going to make this by 0.1 days. And there we go. 6 o'clock in the morning. We're on the road. 0.2 days. 0.2 days. Uh-oh. 0.1 days. Yes! Get in there. I got to be very quick about this once we hit it. 0.1 days. Got to make sure we're, we're selected. And I want to be on, like, one time speed. So the second the button shows up, I click it. Boom! Whoo! Fulfill the trade offer, friends. 820 bamboo for an anti-grain warhead with literally, like, seconds to spare. Amazing. This also increased our relations. The Covenant of Hahinera by 12. While we're here, let's do some... Tr we also have 0.6 days of food. So we're going to need to buy something. They have golden retrievers. <gasps> they have two, three ferret gills. They have cats. However, we have husses, and that's the important thing. Look, they got hemp milk and hemp flour. Sivatherium milk. Hempoline. God, there's too many hemp things in this. Wow. Anti-grain warhead, 778. Amazing. They have 34 incendiary shells. I wasn't expecting that. They also have snail glass. It looks beautiful. I'm going to have to think this through for a minute. There's just so frigging many things here. Wow. Wow. All right. They've got a million things, but the only things I really want are food, which they don't really have much of. We're going to have to make our own. 
Uh, also, EMP grenades. People have been telling me for a thousand hours that EMP grenades are the best way to deal with mechanicals. If we get more mechanicals, I'd like to have a way to deal with them. So we're going to buy that for 388. Uh, and then we're going to sell the remainder of our bamboo. Uh, and we're going to sell a fair bit of our steel to, to drum up some money. In fact, we're going to sell all of it, much as I'd like to bring it back. Uh, we really need the money, I think. So we'll sell the whole thing. We're now negative 107. And then we're going to sell our one go juice. I don't really want it regardless. We could sell the Hunams. I mean, God, I sh probably didn't even think about it, but we should have chopped up those uh, those last two guys because that is worth an insane amount of money. We'll sell that as well. And then we're going to come up here and buy a bunch of hemp flour and rhodoceratops meat. And these two things we can combine into simple meals uh, or even fine meals with cinnamon. Just gonna have to make like a campfire along the road. So I don't know how many we have five people. That's ten meals per day. Uh, we're probably gonna be about four days. So we need about forty meals, and we're gonna need five times what? It's two hundred of each of these. I'm not sure that's gonna be impossible to afford. Because well, first of all, they only have ninety. So <laughs> even just buying ninety ninety is gonna take up the vast majority of our money. Let's look at this halfway back. But we do are foraging a little bit of berries per day. Not really helping us too much. Uh, this will give us 1.8 days of food. But I'm pretty sure when we combine it, it'll give us more than that. We could also split the meat with the milk. But the milk is worth way, way, way more money. And they just don't have literally anything else to buy with nutritional value, unfortunately. I mean, we could always just buy the meat. Two meats. That, that 0 0.05 nutrition... If we make that into a meal, like say 10 of them, would double the value of the meat. So I suppose we can do that. So we can do like uh, 180. We do a little bit more, like 240. Yes, that's just about as much as we can do. It's going to rot in 1.4 days, but we can cook it up. Let us accept. Uh, and then what we're going to have to do here is actually start moving back. And we'll set up camp tonight and then cook this all up. And then also take a, a break, like with the rest down here, so that no one's like super angry. Also, we should be moving quite a bit faster now. We, I'm not, I didn't check my movement tiles before. How long is it going to take us to get back to our base? 3.4 days. I'm not, I'm not really sure what we were moving movement speed before. Should be much faster now because our weight's a lot lower. And then hopefully we can also find some berries if we camp along the way as well. Uh, now. Quick question. Are we going to have any ability to do these things? We have 3.5 days over there. We wanted to go fight five enemies for marine armor. Over here, we've got eight days if we wanted to fight eight enemies for a bunch of random stuff. And these peace talks quests, I don't care about too much. So let's see if the caravan can make it here. Yep, two days to get there. All right, well, for now, we'll just come down here and then figure out what we want to do. Or are these guys our friends? The Purple Cactus Alliance Hostile Negative 46. No, they are not. Yeah, these elephants just ate literally all of this bamboo. Uh, they're eating pretty much everything, but there's not much I can do about it because we really can't risk fighting like six elephants at once, especially without Simon here with no traps or defenses of any kind. So we'll just have to weather that. Meanwhile, looks like Kevin's still unconscious over here, but his anesthesia has worn off, so let's unsuspend this to give him beer to get him off the map. Hopefully, getting him off the map gives us a mood bonus, all things considered. Or, alternatively, we could not administer that and just keep, just wait till the alcohol uh, addiction is completely taken care of, which might actually be the best thing for him, because even if we give it to him, will he be able to walk off the map before he collapses again? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm also very curious to see how much uh, penalty we get for force feeding him alcohol and how much we get. Ooh, Yotter has named Horse One Mindy after being nuzzled. Well, that's convenient. But anyway, I'm curious to see what happens here with Kevin as far as the mood penalties for forcing him alcohol and also when he leaves the map. Like, is it worth it in general? Oh, by the way, looks like this was. No, that says lamp electricity. Why does it say no wood? Uh, I thought I assumed the lamp E 
Power needed 25 watts. Lamp E, 25. Oh! They were built on top of the old lamps. No way. Are all my old lamps still here? Yes. Lamp times six. They've been here the whole time running up uh, on the fuel underneath the lamp's electricity. I thought they would replace each other, but they did not. That's also the case for the wall lamps. Wow. So all this time we've been wasting a ton of stuff. Let's select all of the wall lamps and deconstruct. Holy... Okay, so we've been simultaneously paying for the electricity and paying for the wood for all of those things. No wonder why things look super bright, because we had double lights everywhere. Yeah, look at Slurisy going around. I had no idea. Like, I've never seen a mod that does that. Uh, we also got defection risk. The fallen colonists are so socially isolated they are considering de defection. Slurcy. Slurcy, you're so socially isolated, do you want to consider defection? You don't like anybody here? Oh no. Need to get someone back to talk to Slurcy. No one, no one's having a fun time with Slurcy. I, I didn't even know defection was a thing. Uh oh. This could be bad. I've never seen, I don't know what mod adds this, if anything. Is there anything we can do about it? I don't think so. Slurcy's viewing art over here. Basically, ex lover. Nice job, Mango! Mango just, like, totally tried to use and abuse Slarcy, and now she's just not feeling any happiness in this colony whatsoever and wants to tootle. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now we're getting the soft lights back. No wonder why. That makes so much more sense. Double the lights makes it look really nice and bright, but the soft lights are so soothing. Oh, it's going to be amazing. And of course, you gotta haul all this stuff urgently. This is out there in the rain, about to get rotted. Oh, Tildema over here has some medicine and a helmet if I wanted it, and a component, but eh, whatever. I think we're fine on that guy. Oh, we actually made it to our camp. I'm very surprised. We're gonna rest there overnight. We still have 2.8 days of food. Rot in 1.2. Well, you know what? I was going to stop and cook everything. But I'm thinking, how long is it going to take us if I want to come down here? 1.68 days. Do I want to fight five guys? I think we can do it, actually. Let's get down there and attack the outpost. We've got 2.9 days. It's going to take us 1.4 days to get there. Uh, just as our food rots, then we can steal their food and walk back in. Then I don't have to bother setting up a camp and microing all that stuff. Even though we could double the length of the food that we have, it'll be fine. Apparently this one cooler is not enough temperature. It's 103 degrees outside, 55 in here. So we're going to need to build another cooler right here. Uh, this one down here does seem to be working. Maintaining this room at about 26. It's actually getting kind of hot in there as well. But we do have the, the benches in there are probably cooking up a little bit. Uh, some of our things are starting to rot in this zone. Yeah, the capybara, some of the hunams in there. Rotting. That is very unfortunate. Hopefully Slurcy... Yep, look at that. Slurcy already putting this thing together in the record time. Unfortunately, everything in here is rotting as a result of this. Oh, you know what I just now realized? We have this grave over here that I put a long time ago for floof. And it contains some random person. Well, that's not what we want. Mango, what are you? Oh, caravan meeting. We've met peacefully. The tribe of rain. This is fantastic. Let's trade. This is what we needed all along. They've got a cobra and a couple of panthers. Now, please tell me that... Yes, they have pemmican. They've got a lot of it, too. But what are we going to have to sell to get it? Well, that's the thing. Well, they won't actually buy anything that we have except for Mac. And we've sold all of our silver. We could sell them $26 of frag grenades to buy like a few pemmican, although those grenades could come in handy. Ah, uh, never mind. Toodles, friends. Do they have anything else that's really cool? No, they don't. Boy, that sucks. It's like, I really want to do this. But I, I guess I could sell my herbal. We only have seven. We kind of need the ones we have. Let's move on. We're going to be here in 0.8 days. In 0.7 days, all of our food's going to rot. We're going to show up, and hopefully they're going to have food. 
And then meanwhile, over here, Slaughter, say, you busy? You're opening the grave? No, come over here to prioritize working on that chaos. You come over here to open the grave. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, here's a random corpse from Tiger to the Tender. That's not what I want at all in here. Uh, let's put on animal corpses, not human-like. Wonderful. Now, Chaos, could you come over here? Hmm. Not really sure how we're going to bury Terry, friends. That was one of the goals of the episode. Bury Terry. Ah, prior to, I don't know what I did to fix it, but I eventually got prioritized hauling Terry dead. I put this on critical. I put it on Pterodon only. Yes, fare ye well, Terry by the sea. Poor guy. He didn't deserve a nun. But I do like that Swee is riding like topless on Murder Chicken while Murder Chicken stands there stoically watching over the grave of Terry. Unfortunate. Uh, now we've got our second cooler in here, which we need to jump down to, I think it's 20, ideally. And then hopefully that works. Yeah, down here we're at 20 degrees. Up here we're at 66. Boy, lots of corpses in here rotted as well because I didn't even catch that. I didn't realize it wasn't freezing. We're going to need a double-walled freezer because it's... So, and now that we're coming into the... This is spring, mind you. 106 in spring. Once we hit summer, we are going to need a double-walled freezer. I think what I might do is actually just make this the freezer down here. Or, I mean, one of the things we were going to do is move this over and chop it up a little bit. But I could more efficiently get rid of these things, put them down here, and make this part of the store. Zavoria's gone on compulsion from eating the raw food. That makes some sense. One thing I could do is set up a camp here, and we could cook that food. Then it wouldn't rot, and it would last longer. But at the same time, I really don't want to micro it. We're almost there. Two days left for that quest. We're going to be there in point six days. So we'll have a bit of a fight on our hands. It won't be too bad, though. Then we're almost home after that. Ah, uh, look how much softer everything is now that we got rid of those duplicate lights everywhere. Whoa! Good God! Food binge on Slutterse from observing the corpse. I went on a daze because of poor mood. Stress trauma on me now as well. We still have a defection wrist on Slutterse, but hey, at least she's going on a food binge or whatever it was. That's the better of two things. If the two things are food binge versus defect. We also got a super bloom text, whatever the heck that means. I've seen it a bunch of times and never actually seen what it does. I don't have a clue. Uh, and then let's make sure we try to haul all this stuff urgently because it is indeed... Not going to last too long out in that rain. Meanwhile, Tilda, Tildema over here is chopping up our smoke beef for us. That's not too bad. Unfortunately, we ran out of power. So it looks like I'm going to have to reduce the power on the... Oh, that's why we're running out of power. Because the cooler is using... Efficiency 100% overheating. It needs more to cool everything. I think. Grid excess, 405. Well, yeah, we're definitely going to need to build more um, chem fuel. By the way, these are out in 17 hours each. Hopefully, I was going to... I can't wait till we come back with five mans. Another thing I really needed to do was build the otter's room, which uh, now that we do have a smidgy of bamboo, I believe we can finally do. 255. Yeah, that's going to be just enough. Let's turn on the planning thing over here. Throw in our bamboo walls. We'll just make one room for now. With bamboo door. Beautiful. We'll mess with the rest. At least it's some kind of room. Like his own private room. Do we have any extra beds lying around? As far as I can tell, no. We'll have to make some more. I don't know if we're going to have enough bamboo for that or not. Very likely, though. Let's build um, this one here, bamboo bed. Build a copy of it right there. That's for Yotter when he comes back. 
How's the cooling down here? Yeah, it's back to freezing again, which is nice to see. 20 degrees. Fantastic. Inspired surgery on Yotter. If for some reason we need that, we very well might need that in about six seconds here as we attack these guys. All five of them. Ooh, relations have changed with a bunch of places just over time, as per normal. But the episode has come to an end as we set up to attack one final place on our way back home. I'm curious how long it's going to be from here to here. 2.5 days, so actually longer than I thought. We probably should have stopped to cook all that meat because it's going to rot like right now. Ooh, animal mi migration of Marco Lacanas. What the? Good God. Why are there so many ridiculously huge insects running around in this map? They're ginormous. Look at this wood we have out here, by the way. That's probably rotting. It's been out. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen wood rot. It's getting close to like 50%. In any event, when's we returning? The five man expedition engages the outposts. Uh, unfortunately, I'm on a mental break, but I'm not necessarily sure that matters because who cares really so much about me helping out? It's mostly going to be Cinnamon, Yotta with the LMGs. I'm curious to see what the encounter looks like. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, so it's just a tribe. It looks like they've got a fader. Ooh, oh, they're not grown. 32% date palm tree. Now that is cool. However, there are a lot of berries on this map. Yeah, look at that. Berries everywhere. 80 berry bushes, and I wasn't even fully zoomed out. Other kinds of bushes over there. We've got at least one, two, three. No, actually, we have exactly five people. Look at this one. Some kind of carapace headgear. And it looks like they've got two stabbies and three bows. This should not be a problem. We might even set up camp here for a little bit while we make some meals. Ooh, speaking of meals, we could have a million elefantes if we wanted to. If we could even spend some time training our husses. Look, guys, we could actually breed the husses. That's incredible. I can't believe that worked out. In any event, when's we returning? This four-part caravan finally comes to an end. Uh, will we murder these final guys? Get another set of marine armor, which is going to be amazing. And then we'll make it back into our main base over here with everybody. And then finally, hopefully, Slaughter Sea can find a friend. And then Mango's deception and deceit will become public knowledge. We'll see how that works out with Zavoria. My guess is not too fantastic. And then it's going to be really awesome when we watch like nine people just crank out so many things. But anyways, until the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to tame on nine. We're not going to have a lot of time to have to come up here and prioritizing taming that horse. Uh, then we're going to have to have someone come over here, most likely Zavoria, pack up the tent. Everything else we can bring with us. Ooh, the white stallion! Yes, friends! Beautiful stallion, beautiful!